Why are narcissists so angry? Narcissists are full of anger. They constantly feel a strong feeling of annoyance, displeasure or hostility. Most often they are actually angry at themselves, but they never reflect on it. They express their anger by taking it out on the people around them, which is done in either a passive aggressive or overt way. A lot of the things that the narcissist does when they are angry can cause permanent damage. It can cause damage that is not reversible, damage that is not able to be undone or altered. The narcissist is easily offended or upset. They are very weak, fragile people. They struggle with regulating their emotions. They struggle with maintaining their self-worth, self-esteem and self-importance. So if anything occurs where they might feel threatened, they will overreact. They will respond more emotionally or forcibly than is justified. They have very poor emotional intelligence. They lack the ability to understand, use and manage their own emotions in positive ways to relieve stress, communicate effectively, empathize with other people, overcome challenges and diffuse conflict. They lack the emotional intelligence that is required to do these things. And this is what creates so many problems around them. When they are full of anger or rage, they are not thinking clearly. They are just reacting to the situation. They are saying and doing things based on how they are feeling at the time which may not have anything to do with the situation. It's just about how they feel inside. They give attention and consideration to these feelings, which then sends them into a rage. It causes them to experience violent, uncontrollable anger. And because they believe that their feelings are facts, they believe that you must have done something to them to cause them to feel that way. So now they are holding you accountable for how they feel. Whenever they now want to take revenge on you. Now they want to inflict hurt or harm on you for a falsely perceived injury or wrong to themselves. When they want to take revenge on you, they don't care about the consequences. They don't care about the result or outcome. All they care about in that moment is relieving themselves of the strong feelings of annoyance, displeasure or hostility that they are experiencing. They believe that if they feel that way, it means that you have done something to them, which then gives them the right to take revenge on you. That's how they think. And most often, even with the feelings that they believe you have caused, those feelings have nothing to do with you. They could be feelings resulting from incidents that happened before they even met you. But how they were treated in those past incidents is then brought into the present moment when they are interacting with you. When they are interacting with you and you say or do something, it triggers them to reflect on those past incidents 
that were never resolved. They are taking out all of their past misery and misfortune out on you, as well as the current situation that they are in. And that is why it can often seem as though it is such an exaggerated response. As though the situation didn't call for that level of emotion or force. It's because it didn't have anything to do with the current situation with you anyway. It's from all of their past hurt or pain. That is what they are reflecting on when they react to you so emotionally and with such force. They have unresolved emotional baggage that they never reflected on or tried to deal with. They have a lot of bottled up emotions of anger, resentment, dissatisfaction from things that don't even have anything to do with you. Things that happened before they even met you. But when they feel as though they are being disrespected, it causes all of these past incidents to resurface. And then they are attacking you with all of their past pain or hurt. All of the past incidents where they experienced dissatisfaction or disappointment. They don't know how to let go of these past incidents. They don't know how to move on. They don't know how to leave these incidents in the past with the original people or situations that caused them. So instead, they carry it all around with them. And whenever someone says or does something that triggers them to reflect on those incidents, they are then unleashing all of their past pain or hurt all of their past dissatisfaction or disappointment onto you. This is why their reactions might seem exaggerated or more emotionally or forcibly than is justified, as though they are intending to do harm. Whenever they try to take revenge or try to defend themselves, it's always to an excessive or exaggerated degree. They have so much anger and hatred inside of them, where you may often feel as though you are walking on eggshells around them. Because any little thing could set them off. Any wrong thing you say or do could cause them to attack or take revenge on you because they never resolved their past experiences. They feel that you owe them something because of their past pain or hurt, because of their past dissatisfaction or disappointment. They are using that as an excuse or as a justification to attack or take revenge on you. You might have an argument or disagreement with them about something and suddenly they react in such a way as though you have really done something to them. It might not have even been anything serious or something that called for such an extreme response. But they are not just reacting to the argument or disagreement that you are having with them. They are reflecting on past situations where they felt a similar way before. A way in which they don't want to feel again. And whenever you say or do something 
that triggers them to reflect on that situation. They will then try to take it out on you. Even though it might not have had anything to do with you. They do this because they have an inability to let go of these past situations. They have an inability to let go of their past hurt or pain. Their past dissatisfaction or disappointment. That is why they have such strong feelings or opinions. Where they are willing to go out of their way just to express how they feel about something you've said or done. That is what locks them into experiencing the same state or condition again and again. Respond to the situations in the exact same way again and again. Where it becomes a continuous sequence. Where the same things happen over and over. They burn bridges. They lose a lot of things that might have been good for them. They put themselves in undesirable situations where they may have been more comfortable before. These things happen because they have no control over their emotions. They have no control over their anger or rage. They don't even have control over their own mind. That is the root cause of why they do everything that they do. Their emotions are unchecked. They don't have the ability to regulate their thoughts. They don't know how to control their inner critic or inner dialogue, which is always criticizing them or indicating their faults. They don't take action to counteract their harmful or undesirable thoughts. So the situation is never corrected. It is never resolved. Because they have no control over their minds. They have no control over their thought process. Whatever they are experiencing in their mind, that is what they believe to be their reality. That's where they develop this dualistic mentality. Where something is either all good or all bad. There's nothing in between. And when they are reacting to you in that moment, they don't even have the time to rationally decide whether something is good or bad. They don't take the time to think things through. Because they are always looking for something that is likely to cause danger or damage. They are always looking for suggestions that something unpleasant will happen. That is what causes them to develop this disorder in which their thoughts and emotions are so impaired that contact is lost with external reality. You always have to walk on eggshells around them because there are so many things that can trigger them. They are very difficult to deal with. When the narcissist experiences anger or narcissistic rage, they can become very destructive to themselves and the people around them. They act on their emotions and can become very out of control because they are entertaining the inner critic or inner dialogue within their minds, which they will then project onto someone else. It can become highly destructive or damaging. They do things that are irreversible, not able to be undone or altered impossible to repair and they continue to repeat the same things again and again because they cannot gain control over their own minds so they are left in a state of complete disorder 
and confusion. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries you can email me at nagsforvercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.